once man is diagnosed with prostate cancer, right. the next challenge is what's the treatment? Talking right. through directly with the doctor. And I remember a friend of mine who spent a lot of time trying to decide robotic surgery, open surgery. So what's the latest state of the art and state of the recommendations on it? So certainly most patients, it's patient driven, so a lot of patients want robotic. Why? There's a lot of marketing around robotic more often than not. Um, when you look at the hard evidence, it shows the following. Um, the, the, the experience of the physician is more important than the technique. No right? matter what, whether no it's matter robotic, what. what you want them, plenty of experience. And Correct. what's experience? Roughly around 200 surgeries. Mm -hmm. it's, it's good experience. Right. Um, I, I, you know, I'm in a homogenous scenario in New York where there's, everyone has over 1,000, so you know, it's a lot of that. Right. Um, but a, a, around 200, is, you know, they, they feel very comfortable and they, do, they start doing a, a better job just from experience right. alone. Um, other than the marketing that's done with robotic, um, studies do show that robotic surgery, there's less um, blood loss and that's less a hospital stay. And that's pretty much it. From a uh, erectile dysfunction perspective from after the surgery or urinary incontinence, there's pretty much no difference between the two. Because that was the reputation, was that Correct. open left you more vulnerable to incontinence and Correct. erectile dysfunction. Correct. So that's none. Uh, correct. Right. It's not. That's right. not the case at right. all. Uh, you know, there's no difference between mm -hmm. open and robotic from right. that standpoint. The best case scenario is to have one who is experienced in both. The reason why that's important is because most of the, the trainees now are only learning and only know about robotic. And in in a robotic situation, there might be a complication where they they may in the middle of the surgery have to convert and do an open surgery. So it's, it, it's the best case scenario is one who's done both extensively, both o open and robotic. Now, how about, so you talked about the surgeon and the experience. So yeah. let's talk about a lot of hospitals. Someone will go to a teaching hospital. Yeah. So um, is that a good thing? Often teaching hospitals are more advanced in their knowledge, but now you run the risk of having a resident doing it. That's a, a risk that in some hospitals, in teaching hospitals, is the case or can be the case. Um, not in many of the hospitals that I know that, that do that. So, right. off, so that's a good, so the patient should ask the practitioner, mm -hmm. the physician, who's going to perform the surgery, are you going to be the one performing the surgery or is it going to be a resident? Oftentimes, uh, the, the, the physician, uh, the expert, the attendee, they remove the prostate and the closing of the skin, right. uh, that's done by the resident, which is perfectly fine. Is closing, it doesn't matter in this case? It, it's hard to get that wrong, put okay. it that way. It, right. well, with the supervision of the, yes. of the, of the attendee, okay. it's hard to get that wrong at that, you know, once you're a resident or, or a fellow. Um, so that's the risk that you run from a teaching hospital. But I can tell you, uh, you know, after working a lot of years in a teaching hospital, um, every when, you know, once a week we go over cases and studies and how to, I'm not a surgeon, but you know, we all go over how do we th do things better. Right. We look at the literature closely. Um, we, you know, the, 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 the surgeons, they share notes on how, just how to do things better, which oftentimes you don't get that from a private clinic. So I- Always am, the choices. Oh uh, Yeah, that's, it's, 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 it's always about choices and I think that, um, teaching uh, clinics are probably best. Good. Um, so real quickly, is um, how about cost robotic versus open? Robotic is more expensive than uh, closed. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, uh, by about 20, 20 to 30%. And will insurance cover that? Yes. Well, do you have to make a case that robotic is more necessary or because of the reduced risk of blood loss and time in the hospital that it... Correct. So the best of my it. knowledge, you don't need to make much of a case. Mm -hmm. They would just cover it. All right. Thank you very much. My pleasure. If you liked what you just saw, we have a whole lot more with Dr. Gio Espinoza at our website, bottomlineinc.com. And do me a favor, share this, tell your friends. We have so much great information. Come to bottomlineinc.com.